Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Crowder here. Uh, today we are going to read the poem Translating Grandfather's House by E.J. Vega. It is on page 59 of your textbook. So, here goes. According to my sketch, rows of lemon and mango trees frame the courtyard of Grandfather's stone and clappered home. The shadow of a palomino gallops on the lip of the horizon. The teacher says the house is from some Zorro movie I've seen. Ask my mom, I protest. She was born there, right there on the second floor. Crossing her arms, she moves on. Memories, once certain as rivets, become confused as awakenings in strange places. And I question the house, the horse, the wrens, perched on the slate roof. The roof, Oscar Yartin, tumbled from one hot Tuesday, installing a new weather vane. He broke a shin and two fingers. Classmates finished drawings of New York City, housing projects on Navy Street. I draw one, too, with wild grass rising from sidewalk cracks like widows. In big round letters, I title it Grandfather's House. Beaming, the teacher scrawls an A-plus in the corner and tapes it to the green blackboard. To the green blackboard. Wow. So here, guys, we have something totally different from the uh, hanging fire poem. Here we're talking about this this awakening, this feeling of nostalgia almost, of this reminiscence in this guy's head about this experience he had. Um, this real feeling creeping over him. And listen to the language there. According to my sketch, this is clearly him interpreting his own experience. Remember I talked about that earlier, about interpreting your worldview. This is uh, E.J. Vega interpreting his experience from his younger time. Um, the shadow of a palomino gallops on the lip of the horizon. What an image there. For those of you that don't know, a palomino is like this light brown, almost golden uh, type of horse. Um, and dancing on the horizon, you could just see it dancing as the sun sets behind it. Like, really powerful word choice there to evoke some really good images in your head. Much like yesterday, I want you guys to uh, write about what the poem's about, how it makes you feel. And again, it's on page 59 in your textbook. So I look forward to reading what you guys think of this totally different tone than what we saw in Hanging Fire. And I think we can agree with that. So good luck, guys. Thanks.